Hey Total Gym Team, it is Master Trainer JD back with here. I'm so excited. I hope you will join me on this journey of losing one pound of fat per week and I want to jump right in. Now the theme of, of the written blog and the video blog is going to be keep it simple. The old KISS acronym which I, I like to use is keep it sweet and simple. <laughs> There's other ones out there but the first uh, prong is going to be to torch more calories and uh, one and three are related I'll get into that a little bit later but torching more calories I do a little math in the written blog please check that out and you'll see a pretty stunning before and after picture um, of me and, and why I'm on this journey um, torching more calories so losing one pound of fat the healthy way not muscle, not water weight, but one pound of fat is as easy as, as creating a 3,500 calorie deficit per week. All right, now I'm going to keep it simple. Divide 3,500 calories by seven days, and you just have to create a 500 calorie a day deficit to achieve this. Now, you can do that any way you want, but I'm just going to propose what I like to think about is I'm going to burn 250 calories more and that can be as easy as you know walking an extra mile and a half or two miles a day and ingest 250 calories less that can be as easy as trading in your bagel with cream cheese for some you know greek yogurt and berries greek yogurt has a ton of protein it's very healthy so every week i'm going to give you another tip for each of these prongs and let's move on to the second one Prong number two, I love this thing, I feel like a professor. <laughs> so eating strategies. I love the author Michael Pollan. He's written like 10 healthy eating books. He's been a New York Times bestseller. And after all those books, he sums it up into eight words. Eat real food, not too much, mostly vegetables. So what he means by eat real food, my favorite example is breakfast. If you look on the box of almost any cereal, you're going to see about eight, ten ingredients you can't even pronounce. If you look on a box of oats, what is the ingredients? Oats. And that's it. So that's the difference between processed food with the cereal and real food, which is the oats. All right, team. Finally, we're going to go to stoking the furnace. And this is where our total gym comes in. We want to keep our metabolism up, keep that furnace burning as many calories as possible. So I've heard and read that one pound of fat, if you're sitting on the couch, burns about one, maybe two calories an hour. One pound of muscle burns about 60 calories. So one of the reasons that most people's metabolisms drop after about the age of 30 is the old adage, if you don't use it, you lose it. So if you're not working those muscles and keeping them strong and hungry, you're, you're atrophying, you're actually losing muscle and that's why the metabolism drops off. So we're gonna use our total gym to keep that furnace stoked and I'm gonna get right into how we're gonna do that. All right team, here's how we're gonna stoke the furnace today. This is a philosophy that I loved and a lot of my clients love is I, I've spent so many hours in gyms and I don't wanna do that anymore. I want to be efficient and effective. So I work one muscle group per day, or I should say per workout. But with this system, which I'll explain more in the weeks to come, you can work out actually every day because we're working alternate muscle groups that are not related. So your muscles get to recover. So now I'm going to start with chest. It's going to be chest day for me. So as you see, I'm going to go to my training deck, which I love. And... <laughs> you can see how much I use it. It's a little tattered. I love the training deck. It's chest day. Chest is all in purple. So I like to keep it simple. I'm going to pick like two exercises and then maybe do two, three sets with total focus, the rule of 10 intensity, and then I'm done. And then the next day I'm sore. And by the time I hit my chest again, it's going to be about six, seven days later. So those muscles have broken down, they build back stronger, hungrier, and they're ready to go for the next chest workout. 
So let me uh, demonstrate a couple of those. So incline chest press is gonna be my first exercise, which I'm doing an incline press kind of for the upper chest. That means that the cables need to be on top. And rule of 10, once again, that doesn't mean count to 10 and stop. That means I always want you to go to fatigue on whatever level you're on. But hey, if you get to 14, 15, 20 repetitions, guess what? That is an instant notification that you need to raise the level. So you, you get that 10 rule, keep it simple. So I have the cables on top, I'm gonna to put my legs up. I prefer that for a nice little hamstring stretch. And then I'm just gonna press up at a level. Inhale in, exhale. You always exhale when the, when the glide board is going up the rail. So it's easy breathing to remember. And a little Pilates tip here is every time you exhale, pull that belly button to spine. So let me just walk you through that quick. So I'm gonna inhale through my nose, pull my belly button to spine, and then accentuate that belly to spine throughout the contraction. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick another chest exercise and just burn that chest out again, 12, 15 minutes, and I'm gonna be done with chest for the day. I'm really excited for you to join me on this journey. So keep the comments coming and rolling in, and I will see you next week.